<laughs> I'm gonna be scraping the bottom of the boat, uh, the dinghy, not. Oh, it's cold. I'm considering if I should or shouldn't, but. I think you should. I know you do. Oh, no, no, there's no more steps. <laughs> I made it to the dinghy. Cold. <laughs> it was like 15 minutes. Okay, maybe 30, but. An hour. Now I have to get my face used to it. <laughs> hey, there's barnacles on the pontoons. Just be careful you don't pop the pontoon. Okay. I bet I have to dunk my head under. Okay. The visibility is not too great. That's fine. You only need to see five inches in front of you. I, I can see all to the bottom still, but not like the best in the world. Getting my head in there. Not like the Bahamas. The Bahamas is actually warm. Okay, Three. Jump me out, Mom. Two. One. Go. Okay, I'm good. Is my hair even wet? Mm, yeah, your hair is wet. How does the dinghy look? Pretty bad. Almost no currents. All the growth I kicked off is floating around. Lately, Tiger has been pushing his comfort level with being around the water, including jumping all the way down to the bottom swim platform. We are a family of five from Texas who sold everything to live full time on our 1987 Marine Trader Tradewinds 47. We have three boys, Carter, Chase, and Caleb. We also have two cats aboard, Cheddar and Tiger. For two years, we have enjoyed cruising, exploring, beautiful sunsets, loads of family fun, and brotherly bonding. We also enjoy exploring the water, snorkeling, and diving. In the Florida Keys, the Bahamas, and who knows where to next. We want to say a special thank you to all of our patrons. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this week's video. We are starting with talking from our app this week because it was a much more intense video and we wanted to give you a little insight before you watched it uh it was a near miss yeah. uh it was kind of traumatic yeah. but we um we lost a cat overboard he's actually sitting right here he's running away he's like nope 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 so we want to start letting you know that everything is fine he's okay he made it yeah so um there's a couple things that we wanted to hit before you comment and berate us <laughs> over social media. How horrible we are. Um, remember, cats are curious. We are cautious with our cats. The cats are just naturally curious. Um, bad things just happen in yep. life in general. Um, we love our pets. We treat them well. Part of happen. the family. Yeah. So, a uh, little background. Joy and I were in our bedroom. Uh, we're getting ready to go to bed, and our rear hatch right by our bed is right on the back by the swim platform, which is right below us, right behind us right now. And actually, funny story about that, Chris and I disagree with the back hatch. I like to sleep with it open so I can hear the dinghy sloshing around, so I know it's still there. He doesn't like to sleep with it open. On, on windy nights, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of he annoying. Because hears it sloshing around. So... It was open a little bit. It was like a crack, so we couldn't see up, we could hear it. Right. And we just heard a weird splash. Like, we're used to our dinghy splash, we're used to what a boat wake sounds like when it comes by. Yeah. We had kind of a different splash. It was, we both looked at each and other we're just for like, a second. That's not, that's not right. That's, that's not, not right. And so we yelled up for the kids because we were not in the, uh, I, uh, we were naked. <laughs> and so we ran up to the and yelled at the kids, we're like, put your eyes on the cats. Yeah, put your eyes on both cats right now. And uh, so we're hurrying to get dressed, and then the kids, uh, we can't find Tiger. Crap. 
So we ran outside and looked and flashlight and we were searched all over the boat. We probably spent five or six minutes looking. And Tiger has been getting increasingly more and more curious about the water. He'll hop down to the bottom swim platform and he'll just stare at the water. So I knew his curiosity was growing. Um, we found him, as you're going to see in the video, he was floating up on our starboard side uh, towards the front of the boat. Yeah. And we jumped in and pulled him out and um, yeah. weren't sure, if, wasn't sure if he was going to make it. Yeah. Uh, when we first saw him in the water, it looked like he was gone. Yeah, it looked like it was just more of a body recovery. So well, we got him on board, he meowed a couple times, and uh, we got him drained out. And it took him, he was flat out exhausted. It took several days of him just relaxing to finally come back. And we watched yeah. him real careful because whenever you have a drowning victim, you can still have water in your lungs, you can die from what they call secondary drowning. Yep. Um, you can end up with pneumonia. Yep. So we've been monitoring for all that kind of stuff and he's, he's yep. doing great. Yep. But um, I think what happened is he was standing right here. I don't know if you can see this, let me tip it down. So we've got the back, the seat right here and he'll, he'll stand up here and he'll go down over the side and over the side, we've got that step right there. This guy right here. And I'm pretty sure he slipped either on that or from jumping there down to the swim platform, which is the next step. One of those, he uh, he slipped, I think, because I don't think he jumped in. I don't know. I think he it just... was a little bit of a calm night. So I it was don't a little know. wavy. It was windy. Yeah. But the waves hadn't picked up yet. Yeah. I think he just slipped. And um, it was nine o'clock at night, so it was dark. Yeah, it was all in the dark. The reason we had a lot of trouble finding him is because we were hanging uh, with our the back of our boat, the aft, facing out towards the bay. So we're assuming the current's pulling out, so we're looking out behind us. I think the wind was blowing that way, but the current was actually going the other direction. So, but we just... The other thing is that yeah. he, he, I think he was messing around trying to get up the back, and he couldn't, and so he swam up the side. Trying to get on And the then boat. he just got exhausted. So, um, it, like I said, very scary. Yeah, you'll see it. There's some panic. There's some craziness. Yeah. Um, Please understand. In the moment, your yeah. brain shuts off. Uh, you all you can worry is what you're trying to message. You're trying to get across. We screamed at each other. We yelled. We. It, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Was it perfect? No. Did the cat? We get the cat. Jo the job done. Did we get the cat out of the water? Yes, yeah. we did. Yeah. Um, so you can save all your comments about panicking and doing man overboard drills and all that because when it actually happens in a scenario like this it, it it all goes out the window so um uh so we did a lot of things right wrong but we did a lot of things <laughs> right and yeah still turned out well you know one thing i'll address right now people are always like why don't you put your cats in a life jacket have you ever put a cat in a life jacket do you really know what happens when this when you put a cat in a life jacket i'll tell you what happens he lays down and they don't move no cat will wear a life jacket and walk around. It does not happen. Maybe one or two. No. But not the majority of cats. We used to have a life jacket. We put it on the cat and they and were they like... Just, they don't move. So it just, it's not functioning. It doesn't function that way. And we were at anchor. We're not even underway. Yeah. So there's, there's risk in everything you do in your life. All right. And, um... You know, if you listen to the media nowadays, the most dangerous thing you can do in the, in the world right now is go out and be social and talk to people because you're going to die of some disease. So just kind of keep perspective in mind. Everything in, in life has risk. Um, we live our life. We make our choices. We live with the, the consequences. You do the same thing. I will take my risk-filled life and the adventure and the, the joy and the, the family time over... American Dream Suburbia locked in a house watching tech and TV. So um, there you have it. Enjoy the video. Yep. Um, have Thanks a great week. Thanks again for watching. Yep. Remember, enjoy the journey, even when it's scary. <laughs>sounded like it's splashing against the dinghy yeah like the dinghy was splashing against the look under i looked under
Maybe he's under the couch. Well, we can't see because we have no... Shine screen. over that way. That way. That way. Between ours and Phyllis Craig's boat. We cannot find a cat and it is dark outside and Tiger has really started to like going down on the swim platform and Chris and I heard a huge splash. Now we can't find our cat. Good job for not giving up. Good job for not giving up. <laughs> hold him. Don't hold him. Watch out. Find it back up. Get Everybody back up. In him. Yes, I know. I know. Everybody back up. Dad's going to have to. Can you take him to the vet? Watch out. <laughs> Breathe. Is he breathing? Hey, there's some towels in that. There's some towels in, in that t in that thing. Good job. Let me get a phone and Google what to do. He's breathing. It's okay, buddy. Let it out. Good job. Okay, get some extra towels and we can towel dry him when he's ready. When he's ready. Good job. Plus, and plus now we know what to do in the manual for Yeah. Did we get some floaties? I don't even care. It might have been on the bag. I'll go for it. I was just... Keep breathing, Tiger. He was not doing so good. He wasn't swimming very good at all. He was just lying there holding. It's fine. I don't care. Who okay. cares about the floating? We Float. learned our lesson. During the night when watching the movie, we close all the doors keep and keep the cat just inside. Did he fall or jump? Was the door fell. open? I don't remember. No, Does both it? doors were closed. He fell over here. I'm the one who went up front to pray, and I looked in the water. And I'm glad you found him, Carter. Make sure he's fully okay. Tiger, we love you. He is breathing. He's fighting. He is going to be should be loving by his three legs for a I'm gonna give him another minute to see if he can drain. I think he drained most of it out. His breathing sounds not crackled anymore. It was crackled before. Good. With the water in the lungs. He needs skin and bones on his legs. Let him puke. Just let him puke. At least he got exercise. Is anything coming out? No. He's fine. Second time a cat has gotten lost on... So, uh, before... Uh, at sunset, we should, like, make sure the cats are either inside or back here by like, closing all the doors that... Don't I think he has a stuffy nose or either that or he's breathing ready. Carter, pet him, tell him you love him. Hey, buddy. He's got a little bit of crackle in his lungs. Which means he probably has a little bit of water in his lungs. So we'll dry him off really good and we'll keep a good watch on him all night. Mm. Make sure he comes back to normal. How was he swimming? Like, he was, was his head he above the water? He wasn't. He just he was laying on he was his back. Like, yeah. you he's know laying those animal back. skins you can find at shops? He was laying like that in the water. I thought it was a piece of seaweed. And then when I saw him, he had tried to roll over yeah. and like swim a little. That's but he was he like, started, he, but he was like, like he's probably he too tired. He's too tired to move, so he just quit. Good, good job.
stay up at all? I think he needs to drink like water because he has sea water. Probably. Yeah. I'm gonna get the water bowl. Bring the water bowl. He's probably gonna be dehydrated. Wait, oh. wait, wait. There he goes. Let him throw up. Let him throw up. Yep. Let him keep throwing up. It's gonna be hard for him to breathe. It's in his nose. Okay. Wipe his nose. Can you wipe his nose? He's not breathing. No, put him back down. Here's the. Let's go sit down and relax. Don't be a stupid cat. Come on. Post drowning. About thirty minutes. trying to sit in the center of the boat down low because of all the waves and everything. Oh, he's walking! Yay! And also, I think he's wanting to be near me. Oh, I love you, kitty. How does he sound? Like normal, but only not no purring too much right now. Come on, Tiger. He go needs up? to be lifted up. No. Let me see. Just lift his paws up to the first. 